Hello, I am Jimmy from CVW, and here I will give you a brief introduction to the corresponding accessories of Beam Link Duo. The inside of the chassis is divided into two layers. The first layer includes transmitter and receiver, and the second layer includes all kinds of accessories. Quick Start Guide Product Warranty Card Transmitter 1 Transmitter 2 Receiver Transmitter Power Switch Tally Out DC In Reset. RS232. SDI in. HDMI in. NPF battery case. Receiver. Reset. Power switch. RS232. Tally in. AJ45. HDMI out. SDI out. DC in. B mount. Metal stand one piece. Power adapter one piece. Antenna 14 pieces. D tap to lemo patch cord two pieces. 1 fourth inch screw and nut connector 2 pieces. Install the transmitter antennas. Tighten the antennas one by one and make them in a fan shape. Power supply mode 1. Take the Sony NPF battery and directly buckle it into the battery gusset plate. Power supply mode 2. The button battery. Powered by D-Tap to Lemo patch cord. Fix the product. Take one fourth double screw and fix the product on the camera. Take the SDI cable or HDMI cable to connect the SDI or HDMI output interface of the camera to the SDI or HDMI interface of the transmitter. Install the receiver base or attach it to a tripod with a 1 4th screw or 3 8th screw. Install the receiver antennas. Tighten the antennas one by one and make them in a fan shape. Power supply mode 1, take a power adapter and connect to a 4-core cannon power socket for power supply. Power supply mode 2, buckle a B-button battery into the battery gusset plate for power supply. Take the SDI cable or HDMI cable to connect the SDI or HDMI output interface of the receiver to the switch console or monitor. Turn on the transmitter power and receiver power for one minute or so, and then observe whether the images on the monitor or switch console are normal. Transmitter. The number represents the transmitter ID, which corresponds to the receiver video output interface. Letter L represents the low gain mode. The anti-interference ability is enhanced in this mode. It is recommended to use this mode within 100 meters of the usage scenario. When there is no L display, it is in the high gain mode. In this mode, the signal is enhanced and the distance is increased. When the usage scenario is greater than 100 meters, it is recommended to use this mode. Press and hold the LNA on off button for 3 seconds to complete the mode switch. Signal icon. When the network between transmitter and receiver is not connected, X is displayed. After the connection is successful, the signal strength is displayed. Video. Video signal detection. 
when the network connection between transmitter and receiver is successful. The transmitter successfully detects the video source output signal and displays the video signal. Reset. Reboot. Press the reset button for about 2 seconds to complete the rebooting. CH8 displaying the current working frequency. There are 11 frequency points available. Press and hold the WPS button for 3 seconds to enter the WPS code pairing status. Shipment defaults to successful pairing of transmitters and receivers. When a failure occurred on the product, the product needs to be replaced and repaired. Receiver CH8 Displaying the current working frequency. There are 11 frequency points available. Trigger once through the CHWPS button to complete the switching. It is recommended to use the frequency points CH5, CH6, CH7, CH8, and CH9. The letter L represents the low gain mode. The anti-interference ability is enhanced in this mode. It is recommended to use this mode within 100 meters of the usage scenario. When there is no L display, it is in the high gain mode. In this mode, the signal is enhanced and the distance is increased. When the usage scenario is greater than 100 meters, it is recommended to use this mode. Press and hold the LNA on off button for 3 seconds to complete the mode switch. It is recommended that the transmitter and receiver switch simultaneously. The number represents the receiver ID, which corresponds to the receiver video output interface and transmitter ID. Signal icon. When the transmitter and receiver network is not connected, X is displayed. After the connection is successful, the signal strength is displayed. Video. Video signal detection. The receiver successfully receives the video signal from the transmitter. Reset. Reboot. Short press the reset button to cycle through the first and second. To select the decoder board to be restarted, then press and hold the reset button 3 seconds to confirm the reboot. Press and hold the CHWPS button for 3 seconds to enter the WPS state. Shipment defaults to successful pairing of transmitters and receivers. When a failure occurred on the product, the product needs to be replaced and repaired. There will be a WPS prompt on the screen during the pairing process. When using this function, the transmitters and receivers must be operated simultaneously. Short press the LNA on off button once, and the display will toggle between landscape mode and portrait mode.